Hi everyone, welcome back to Anita's Joint, hashtag is in the joint, where every day is payday, baby. You're tuned in to another esoteric football commentary with your girl, um, Anita Flying High. So today we have Paris Saint-Germain versus Real Madrid and the Parc des Princes. Uh, Real Madrid are in second place, no, third place, and Paris are in second place and see the group of death, in my opinion. Group A with Chelsea, Paris, and Real. Um, two points separate Paris and Real Madrid. So this is a much needed win for Paris or a draw at least. Uh, I think Chelsea won earlier today. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to this match. Uh, Real Madrid are the team that defeated um, my team, Manchester City. Um, so, <clears throat> of course, you know, I, I, not, it's not like revenge is on my mind, but it's just, you know, Real Madrid are, are the team that looks like they're going to be able to eventually match Barcelona's strength. That's what we're looking at. That's how we're expecting them to be. That's what we would like them to be. Um, a couple Mexican players, a couple, um, uh, you see Robles back there, the Mexican right back for uh, Real Madrid. Also, you know, Caroline Weir is here, former citizen. Um, but in general, um, good teams, two good teams. Um, Paris just saw them beat um, Lyon, uh, thankfully, uh, in a much-needed win, too, to uh, jump. Looks like Martins is going to come off the bench. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm looking forward to this match. Of course, the crowd's going to be up there. I think it's going to be a good match. Um, I'm not too sure how the first match turned out. Um, but uh, really good players on both sides. And um, look forward to seeing them uh, have a good match. This is match day five for the ladies out of six. And I was just looking at the groups. Um, yeah, it looks it looks kind of how I we all kind of set how it looks how we all kind of set it. You know, teams that were supposed to be leading the pack are, and this group is um, very interesting. So um, also, yeah, but before, we're not going to listen to any of that Champions League stuff. See, Jackie, she's going to be on the bench here. Uh, for Paris, she came on a little bit. Um, I think nothing will change from the Lyon lineup uh, for the ladies, for PSG ladies, which is good. I don't really want to see any changes because I like what I saw. Everyone did a great job, um, you know, against Lyon. And uh, with Real, I haven't even seen them since they defeated Manchester City um, earlier this year. Um, <clears throat> But uh, I'm still honestly writing down the lineups. But here, ladies, they're going to be walking out. Um, and, uh, you know, I was thinking uh, when it came to these teams, right? You know, the leagues, I was like, if there's a third team that can compete for the Champions League in Paris, in, in Paris, in France, I think that would be really good um, because having multiple um teams from or at least three i think three was really good instead of just the top two i think three teams really spices the league up and it really helps that third team that gets into the champions league an opportunity to be like okay look this is what we have to do consistently to be able to even beat some of these teams not only did we make it we beat the ladies that are in our group to get that champions league position now it's time to all right see what else we can do to now see me you know, beat these teams that we face in Champions League to get out of the, the group stage. And so I'm looking forward to seeing what um, league does that next. Because we know that the, um, I think it was, what team? I'm trying to figure out what team expanded. I think it was the English League that probably expanded to three teams or it probably always was three teams. But I think if we have more than two French teams, so we can see one more French team to join Champions League, I think Italy... If I'm thinking they had, because I know they had Roma and Juventus. I'm not too sure if they have one more Italian team. Especially if the teams have 12 leagues or more. I mean, 12 teams or more in that league. I think that is fantastic. So we can have a bigger Champions League for the ladies. 
And um, honestly, I do think see, I do think I see that in the future uh, for the ladies. And um, I think I think they're done with all that uh, national anthem stuff. Uh, so I think I can get the audio on for you just a little bit. <clears throat> Because we don't want to listen to none of that Champions League stuff, anthem, yada, 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 yada stuff. But big match for Paris, um, you know, coming off that big win in the weekend. Um, so, yes, let's go, ladies. Uh, here is Paris's lineup. Nothing, nothing's changed. Nothing's changed. The same team we saw defeat Lyon is the same team that's out here. Uh, so that's what I like to see. Uh, if you didn't watch uh, Lyon and and Paris, it's on my YouTube channel. I have I did my commentary of it, so you can go check it out. Um, on Anita's joint YouTube, and uh, yeah, it was a good game. Uh, Diani ended up scoring, and I was really happy for her. Uh, she had a great match, and um, like I said, I wonder. I don't know how Real Madrid are doing in their league. Uh, I'm guessing they're second best to Barca, but besides that, I think hopefully they're competing in um, good group. Not not good. I uh, hope they're competing really well, and I hope they're in form uh, for this match. And like I said, I don't know how their first. It, I don't know how that fir the first meeting was, but I'm, based upon the standings, they may have drew against Real. I mean, they may have drew with the uh, Paris or. I'm not too sure because it looks like they have five points. Um, they might have beat them. I'm not too sure. Oh yeah, Robles is the captain, as you know, the Mexican defender. Um, uh, for yeah, the Mexican defender for Real Madrid here. She's the captain of number two, Robo. So we, we see a lot of her with Mexico. If you don't watch the Mexican ladies, um, yes, that's who she is. Um, but, you know, um, they have Esther. They have Caroline Weir. Uh, let's see. Real Madrid's lineup. Um, Toletti. Ah, Toletti is a good signing. Uh, uh, Olga. Uh, really good signing. Uh, and, and Tina. Really good. Esther up top. They have a really good team. Looks like it. Um, Real Madrid. Some players I enjoy watching. Uh, and, and, and Tina, Toletti, Caroline, you know, Esther. I think these are some good players. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, we'll see how uh this match turns out for us um leon not leon oh my goodness some uh, real key battles on the pitch tonight lucy who are you looking forward to seeing all right well, cool 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 yeah good attacking talent out there let's go ladies i guess i'll get the lineups maybe never Paris, i'll get them whenever i feel um <clears throat> in their forward line probably one of the most exciting forward lines in europe at the moment and I've been looking all for them right Especially as the home team, I think that the the onus is on them to get the to, to get the win. Okay, donkey. And away we All go. right, we're underway here. Paris for PSG and in the blue the and now. Real the are in the white. The Real Madrid, no, they must not lose this game so. if they want any hope. Of continuing their journey so live. in the live and Champions League, here. and already Real Madrid looking to put the pressure on mm -hmm. early enough. The stakes are so high tonight, Lucy. Yeah, I, I think Real Madrid started off really quickly in the in the last Champions okay. League game. Okay. Got got a goal and then sat back, and I think that you know you see right away from kickoff that they were pressing Paris really, really high. Really interesting to the way that the game pans out. That's for sure. Here's Dalmida for PSG. Plays it across to a centre back pairing of Amanda Ilstead, the Swedish okay. international. Let's it's go. <clears throat> took by Baltimore and now Lawrence Let's again. Keep that there. Well, both sides coming into this game off the back of some really good results at the weekend. Um, um and uh yeah, you know, with the uh, with Paris uh in the in the Lyon match. Um, they they did really well getting to the width for uh, on the width for, and hopefully they're able to do that this match. Um, and I'm, I have to see how Rao play. I haven't seen them, but I think um, the midfield would be good with Toletti and Caroline, and of course um, I think the right back and left back will be um, influential. Uh, and uh, you know, having Antiana and Esther up top, I'm not too familiar with the other player they have up top. I think it's gonna just be a good. I think overall, based upon the names I've seen for Real, it's a well-balanced team. 
Well, you can hear the fan support from inside this stadium. They've been going at it even before kickoff. Showing their full support for the uh, PSG team. Delmaida across to Koshawi. Yeah, well, well, well balanced. Backman uh, tried to play it forward, but it was picked up quickly by Del Castillo. Here is Real Madrid in the white here. Now we're playing it on to Fela. Naomi Fela holding on to it. She's being... Uh, all right. back though by Lawrence and it was well defended in the end by the PSG defender the fellow has started really brightly whether it's pressing that she did in the opening minute or when Real Madrid got the ball back and she offers that pace in behind she's going to cause problems for Paris's back line tonight Amraoui Paris here De so Diani's playing, of course, the striker Plays since Marie is Baltimore. injured still. Baltimore back out on the starting lineup. And, um, like I said, they do have Martins and Jackie and on the bench. The Netherlands duo, uh, or the Dutch duo on the bench, if they need to come in as well, which helps. Um, I think they're going with Backman, though, because she's been with the club for a really long time. Like longer than Martins, and I think um, she's pretty pacey. She's just well familiar with the team, and and I like the way and how influential she is for Paris. So um, the Switzerland left back, left wide player. And Caroline here, number eleven. And um, I'm trying to think, uh, you know, there's still a lot of drama in Spain uh, based upon their national team. And so hopefully, you know, we get to see some of Real Madrid's best Spanish players eventually play for Spain again. Uh, here's Diani. She has Grace on the side and Baltimore. So let's see what she does. This is a good opportunity for Paris. Baltimore, she's going for goal. Ooh, hits the post. Hey. Baltimore, first opportunity goes to Real. I mean, goes to Paris. Uh, really good, real good right here. Baltimore hits the top, and Baltimore is an up and coming. I, I enjoy when I first watched Paris. My first season, he was a player that you know we got to enjoy. She's a 21-year-old Piscean player. Plays for uh, Paris. Well, early warning signs coming from their home side. Now Real Madrid Athena here. She's a really Del good player. Uh, multiple times she comes. Del Ooh, Castillo. wow. The deflection almost ended up in the back of the net for Real. I think the. So an early corner then for Real Madrid will be taken by uh, Caroline. Corner. Weir. The first corner goes to uh, Real Madrid. Away with the delivery. Back out it goes. Ooh, again. that ricocheted off the post too. Oh my goodness. Wow, Real Madrid, two shots, leader. two hit posts. Both sides have been able to test the goalkeeper. Or one one almost deflected inside the ball inside the um the shot for number twenty four hits the post. Well, I went the right way, but no luck. Baltimore here. Baltimore and Olga. That that matchup should be interesting. Real Madrid because there is so much at stake. PSG will go through to the quarterfinals if they can beat Real Madrid. But they have been a tough team to beat Real Madrid so far this campaign. It's kind of a sloppy pass here on Thina for, for Real. She has Caroline. Caroline got to get a shot. Yeah, she is. Ooh, curler. Goodness. Real's active. And just see good from Real. They, they're looking good. Looking it's sharp. It's a great break as well. They play really well. Caroline Weir is such an excellent addition to this Real Madrid team. She's just probably the missing piece. Works really well with Del Caroline Castillo. tried to She's curl it. Slide it round the goalkeeper but again I think that's a, a warning to Paris that 
And Real Madrid do win it back. They can do the same. <laughs> and they can attack quickly on the counter. All right. Instead. Lawrence. One thing I told um, when I watched, uh, it was live earlier, when I watched Neon and Arsenal, was that Paris really capitalized on the individual, the individualistic play of Leon. Um, but it looks like um, Rao don't play that way. Um, it looks like they have really good, a good balance between the team. Here's a good opportunity. Gray, she has some runners in the box. She can't get it off her foot quick enough. Baltimore here. Um, but yeah, they did take advantage of that. Um, it looks like this match is going to be fluid. Um, for both sides. I think Real had the best opportunities so far. Um, Catlin was able to get involved and just nick that ball away. Esther Gonzalez trying to get away. Nice from Toilet. I think that was number six. Is that, it was, that, that was, who was that right there? This is Del Castillo. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out who that was. It had, <laughs> She got out of that challenge really well. Uh, um, not her. Not, I know who Antina is, but it was, a, it was before all that. I think she had the number six shirt. It has to be. I'm not sure say it was Stiletti, but she's a French player as well, if you, if you don't know. But I don't know if it was her. But slide tackle. Goodness. Paris. <laughs> Between Del Castillo and Caroline Weir, but it landed on Caroline Weir's wrong foot, as it were. A little discombobulated Paris right now. We all have a lot of players inside the box. Added forward by uh, Naomi Feller, but then Ashley Lawrence was able to clear it away for PSG. Picked up by Baltimore. Carmona wanted to see a free kick. What a start to this game. It's actually, it's been played like it's the last five minutes of a cup final. It's been a little bit chaotic. Well, but both teams um, end to end, probably far more open than have manager. settled into the game already. Be comfortable watching on the really side well, line. first 10 we minutes. Both teams look good. Real Madrid, the first half were brilliant. They looked like the side that were going to score. They had chances as well. And, uh, you know, with Real two points below um, Paris, you know, this is a really important match. Really important. They, they're going to have their... Because I'm not too sure what if any third place teams... I'm not too sure if any third place teams are able to get into the next round. But... They're going to want to, and so, you know, three points are going to be really needed. Uh, and, and if you're Paris, you know, you don't you don't want to throw everything. And you want to win or draw, but you don't want to lose, because if you lose, Real Madrid are going to jump you one point. And um, I'm not too sure who plays and who they play each other next, but one of them's going to have to play Chelsea, that's for sure. Because uh, Chelsea just played. Oh, uh, no foul here? I thought the other side was a foul. Seneca? Seneca? But yeah, um, so one of these two teams is going to have to play Chelsea next. I'm thinking it's Paris. Um, the early yellow here. Let's see if we're going to get the replay on Arantina. Looks like she might have tripped her up. She's, she says she didn't. She, she, she doesn't believe it. El Castillo. Um, so, free kick opportunity for Paris. Let's see, let's see. Uh, I don't know. I saw any tangled defeat. It didn't look like anything up top too much. But I didn't really, I didn't, I was looking for something like up top, but maybe it was something below. Um, I don't know if there's VAR in the beginning, but I think it's it's towards the end. But um, especially in, anyways, free kick for Paris here. Um, you know they they got some targets up top. 
will be Buckman to play yeah. it in and it looped into the a little bit too much pace at the goalkeeper well there Rodriguez she didn't give a moment there for Paris players to get right on top of a goal good starting position came out early to claim I think Real Madrid have a lot of young players a lot of young energy which is good um Laying it forward. El Castillo coming back to help out Real Madrid. Robles. Well to hold off the pressure from Backman. Gioro with a little bit of skill. Turn from Koshawi. interesting actually listening to the thoughts of the uh, PSG manager Gerard Prechet he said it's uh, not complicated their task they uh, mm -hmm. have to win and they will play to win they can't think about anything else looking for Seneca over top so she has two players in, in line but uh, in, Robles, it's like it's going to be a goal kick or a corner I'm not too sure Robles, Robles was back to to defend this a corner and I think Robles did get a touch against Karshawi in the end and you see that probably came off Karshawi it's difficult for the referee you cannot really see from her position running back but that ball over the top again okay no court corner you got a high line then what was it risk of quick Paris behind. and um during the Lyon match Paris that got a lot of uh corners Ooh, it's a... wow it I have no idea how that didn't go in the... I thought that was going in the back of the net right there <laughs> my goodness that was so close wow from that angle we got oh it's in the back of the net let's go go let's go Paris are up one nil from the Alima Lidia del Amidia well done Paris Okay, time. let's go, ladies. Eliza All right. <laughs> nice, 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 nice. Well, had had uh, the previous one nil. Sure let's go, Paris. In the first place, but Fourteen minutes here. Yeah. Off the second corner, you see it. Ooh. Front, front run, cause problems, but that's an excellent header. Uh. Just getting her head to it she pulled away all right the, the center back it's really about their Paris up one nil that's assist off Bachman Leon oh uh, yeah the, um, so, so really I'm really happy for the, for her the lead, um, this crucial game as it stands <laughs> good header no one was stopping that one would be over they now have to score Good finish, good header. Well, match day six concludes next week. As you've seen on your screens, there a huge game in the uh, Women's Champions League. Leon welcoming Juventus. Mm, nice little back here from Baltimore to find Diani. Here, Rao. Keep going over here, Paris. We got, we got. Ooh, she'll pass back. Great kick right outside the box for Paris. See how they capitalize on this energy. Like I said, Real Madrid got a lot of young. Young energy, young blood. Uh, so you know, it, you know, got a lot of fire. Just a late tackle. Did she slip over it? Maybe she might have slipped over it. But they're playing in Paris, so she might have got that call. Um. Let's see how this uh, free kick does, Paris. But Real Madrid need to calm down just a little bit. They're down one nil. Could be, you know, a little panicky, you know. Let the emotions get the best of them. Yes, yes. All right. Let's see. I don't know. Would you go for goal right here? Because this one is a little closer. She does just wide. Was it tipped? No. Sees her shot go wide. Very close. 
asking for a, a corner Paris. Good little game. game. My game heart's game racing a little bit. <laughs> that led up the first of the corners that led to the first goal, saying that the wall just took a glance from them. But Real Madrid just need to keep playing as they've started the game. They didn't defend the set piece well and conceded the goal, but there's a lot of positives about the way that Real Madrid has set up in an attacking sense. It, was, it wasn't a good pass right there. I thought she could have uh, done better. Here's, Here's Caroline here. Yeah, so it was Toletti, number six, that had got out of that trouble. Um, and I, I'm sure, I'm, I'm trying to figure out if that's the same Toletti that's French. Uh, like, I'm trying to, I think it is. Del Castillo going all the way through. Decided to have a go herself. He's only really fell at Ernesto Gonzalez in the box. Del Castillo. I just thought better of him going for goal, but again, showing a lot of quality. But anyways, that's a good signing for Raul. It's very, very good signings. Shows so much craft, significant craft in her game, and I think that is the. A lot of French players did move during the break. Uh, some influential ones. Picked up by Asta Gonzalez, and now Fella. Del Castillo, driving away through, tries to get on the end of it there, Asta Gonzalez, but it was well defended though by PSG, Baltimore. Toletti. Naomi Feller again. Needs a place, a, a long ball forward, but nothing too testing, though, for Boadi. Boadi catches that one easily. Seneca. Passing it to uh, looking for Marie. Diani to chase that down, but it was... Uh, well Seneca, anticipated this is San Nikina. San Nikina. San Nikina. I think that's how you say it. I'm not French. So. But that should be a good matchup here. Or in Athena here. Esther looked like she was onside. From that. Oh, no, maybe not. This slightly pass. off, but good opportunity, Real. It looks like Caroline yeah, pulls a lot of, of strings pass. in the midfield, and, and world class, I would say. I think she's gone up a level uh, she as well, looks good. She's now one of their main players, makes everybody play better around her, and that's a, that's a sign of a real top class footballer when you affect others and you make other players better. It looks like she's loving her time over in Madrid. Well, she uh, certainly broke Manchester City hearts when she left the club. She also broke their hearts once again when she uh, scored the winning goal. Yeah, so like I said, with Paris, if Paris beat Raul, you know, the next match, if they do play Chelsea, was a little bit bitter, wasn't it? they could, you know, eventually, they could jump Chelsea if, if possible. And then, of course, Real Madrid, um, they don't want to have to run up against Chelsea. Uh, but I'm not too sure. They, some, I think someone is going to have to play Chelsea next. But I don't think they're playing them back to back unless they're playing. Unless they're playing two legs again here. But I'm pretty sure they played already. I have to look. I have to look at halftime. But um, yeah, because it is the group. It is a match day five to six. You know, teams want to punch their ticket to the to the next round. And, um, you know, Real Madrid did so, you know, they, uh, they kicked out City, so they want to do well. They want to progress. They they lost to Barca uh, last year. So, uh, you know, they, they don't want to, you know, they, they want to improve on, on and especially because they've made some really good signings. Uh, so, but Paris here are in the lead with the advantage. Baltimore here. In Francis. In a very important role uh, for Paris now. Good piece. Rowie going to play it onto that right side for Ashley Lawrence. And a fullbacks, a high fullbacks, a, 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 a real important part of the way that Paris like to play football. Fullbacks get up the 
front three are quite narrow. We've seen Backman dropping a lot just to cover over loads in those central areas. And what they do like to play, a little bit direct, but the ball forward with a purpose. Kathleen, who scored that goal against Atletico Madrid at the weekend. Okay, here's, here's, ah, uh, it wasn't the best pass. She, I think she had, um, Esther open. <laughs> Teammates get into it, each other. I'll say teammates getting into each other's way right there. Certainly is a sense of urgency within the Real Madrid team to try and get an equalizer. So if uh, if uh, Ogro would stay on side, Diani. I don't know if she was off. I think she, she might have been offside a little bit, but no flags down. Diani with the cross in. Cleared by Robles. It, it looked like she might have been offside, but I guess she's held on. Some Real Madrid players protest. Robles trying to get that back line sorted. Not really getting back and being able to stop the cross. Quick players of Paris Saint Germain are getting on the end of those, but so far just conceded the one. Paris here. The second corner opportunity. They scored a, a, a goal, so here we go again. They're going near, I don't like, uh, very, um, near posty. Um. would it be like for the Real Madrid players to play inside this stadium with the support that PSG have got? Yeah, you've just got to cut it out as, as much as possible. And I think they've started quite well in terms of the passing, obviously a defensive lapse and they conceded from a corner. But in terms of what they do when they regain possession, Real Madrid is real top quality, but they do struggle. They're trying to play a high line. They're trying to squeeze the play. And um, not really putting that much pressure on the ball, but that... I think they're quite you know, I, think uh, I was talking about some of the Canadians in the Briar match. But Ashley Lawrence has been with Paris players. since I've been watching PSG. Um, so, you know, a lot of the defense has played with some of the best ladies in, in the world here in, in France. And, you know, when I think about someone, when I think about another nationality besides the French. Um, I mean, besides the Canadians, I'm thinking like Carpenter, she plays for Lyon. The Australians may be the next team to have some of, some of the play with some of the best ladies, but um, some, some of them. Oh. But I think the Canadians have three of their back four play. In, in the, in France, in the two best teams. So, well, used to when when Buchanan was playing in for Lyon. Now she's with Chelsea. So, but they still have uh, the Jess Fleming, that's Canadian, that plays in, for Chelsea. We still got the Canadian connect. But here's uh, Grace and Paris. Now Giorgio. Diani. Cross shot block. Rebounded off Galvez. Well defended there by Olga Carmona. Wasn't letting her through. Backman. Under a bit of pressure from Del Castillo. Yeah, I was like, Backman didn't stay on side. Um, but I'm thinking, like, looking at, man, I wish Real Madrid had faced City when they were a little more, more seasoned, because I think maybe would have, would have been a different result. But can't harbor on the past. But it just means that you can play with the ball in the opposition's half quite a lot, because you, you, all the units are further up the pitch. Oh, 
Well, one thing that PSG certainly are doing is getting goals from all across the pitch. Caridatio Diani is, of course, their uh, top goal scorer and their main goal threat, but they're getting the goals from the back, back out from Dummy and then well. Esther. Looking for Caroline. Something from this, but not the best ball there from Esther Gonzalez. She has to make sure she passes it to someone. She can't just clear it into the middle of the field. Yeah, so it is Paris that plays Chelsea next. So that's going to be... This is why this this every, this every match is very important for Paris to win. Um, because... Um, one, if they win, and then they, you know, of course, face Chelsea, they could win the group. If they beat Chelsea, they could win the group, because I think they'll have 10 points. Well, I don't know, I don't know. Chelsea may already be group leaders. No. They may be already group leaders. Because I think they're undefeated at the moment um, in the group stage. Um, so, maybe not. They may, but still, this match was very important for Paris and Real. But it is um, Paris that's going to have to face Chelsea next, which I think, uh, like I said, this group this is a group of death. This is a really good group. Um, and I think that uh, Bayern Munich and, and Barcelona's group, um, those two teams were really good uh, going toe-to-toe -to -toe with each other. I was watching some highlights of their matches. They got one one each they won one one they beat each other which is which was going to be a good group um which is good to see um, so a lot of the a lot of the teams in the group stage lost and won and draw to each other which is really good to see uh chelsea i believe the only team to have been not beaten uh so you know overall um, Chelsea, you know, they lost to Barca in the final. They're looking to get back. We'll see how that goes. You know, I'm not really a Chelsea supporter, but you know, it did make some good signings. They made some defensive signings, really key. Really good defensive signings they made. I think they signed, uh, of course, Buchanan. And I think they signed a French player as well. And um, um, some sweet, a Swedish player. Yeah, Chelsea made some moves in defense off season. She certainly got quite the job over Carmona to try and stop those wide players from PSG from coming in. An area where PSG usually have so much luck. Well, they certainly do, and that's their first thought. Play the ball forward, usually in wide positions. If the wide players go into out, or it's the fullbacks that get on the end of them. But Carmona is certainly a positive player defensively, and if she can get herself forward. Gonzalez, back to Olofsson. Galvez. Now the turn is to Letty. Picked up by Caroline Weir, taken away from her by Hamraoui. Looking for a foul there, PSG. Looking for a foul, Grace. Thank goodness. We already said, thank goodness Grace is here with Paris. And then she didn't go to Chelsea. Because Chelsea would have been even more of crazy scary. Um, it would have been even more scarier. Than they already are. And in the, in the, in, I think that, that would just would have hurt me, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> that 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 really that would have really hurt me. I don't want to. I don't want to see any of this PSG players go to Chelsea. 
quite well with those balls forward. We just need to just click in the final third. One and two touch passing right on the edge of the area. Has caused PSG some problems, but I think Paris will feel quite comfortable at the moment. Got themselves 1-0 in front and feel confident that they could add a second. All right, good good ball out wide from we'll Baltimore to Diane. Ooh, she's on side, Baltimore. She had to go for goal. Ooh. And she had a little bit more time than she thought. Oh my goodness, that should have been 2-0. Two, two but Misa with a good save. Good run. Good good header to, to Diani. And good pass from Diani back to Baltimore. You know, real well done. Really good job. I almost combined in a goal. Sandy Baltimore, another one of the players of PSG that's uh, been finding her form in front of goal recently. She scored four goals in the last seven appearances. Lawrence. Ashley Lawrence looking for Diani. She Diani again. The foul. Took a tumble. No foul. He doesn't think there was anything in it. I'm surprised, but Diani, I thought she was going to have the strength to hold off that tackle, but I thought there was a little shove. <laughs> Diani thought so too, but uh, PSG, got to stay on your feet. Mm, didn't get that call. Almeida. Boadi as Esther Gonzalez tries to put the pressure on. Those are just really risky pass from the center backs. Um, Fella. Mm, you see two players here having the shot. That one hit the post. the post. Goodness. Here's Paris. Twice Real Madrid have hit the woodwork. That yeah, that see that that was a very risky opportunity. Uh, from that pass from the center backs putting their midfield at risk. And having two players available to take, you know, a mid-range shot. Wriggles away from Del Castillo, allowed to. We need to do better. To from Paris, Koshali. stop putting your team in danger. Bachman is back to the support. And because Dudek is usually the um, the Polish center back. She's been hurt, I guess, for a while. Uh, yeah, but uh, once she's get back, you know, I think. I mean, the, the fact that you know Diala and Amanda have been back here, they've been doing well. Uh, but Dudek is uh, very influential. She's usually their captain, uh, but not Grace's at the moment. I think Diani was last match. But anyways, yeah, she's a really good center back, Dudek. Uh, so. Uh, hopefully, we'll see when she comes back for Paris. But you know, we got some quality players all over the field. A bit too much heat the right there from Amanda, and Amanda usually starts for Sweden uh, as a center back. So you know. Or she plays out wide. I'm trying to think. She plays like a left back, right back. I'm pretty sure she plays with Ericsson most of the time. Bella loses out to Jean Francois. Didn't see Baltimore here, Jean Francis. Almeida, who scored the uh, opening goal for PSG, 15 minutes into the first half. And there's something interesting about. I enjoy the way the French play because they just press conference that they have to be intelligent and mature Real Madrid so they have to know how to I don't know there's something interesting about them just the way they play then some when I watch the in English league and some of the other I only really watch the English league and the French league and of course the American League but there's something that I think there's something in every league but there is something about the French League that excites me. Even though they only have two teams that compete in Champions League. When I watched, um, 
trying to figure out. Before Tuleti and I don't know if y'all know Torin. She plays for Enda. What's her name? Mateo. I think they play for Paris FC. Um, they play just. Uh, it's just something enjoy in like, something that I just enjoy. I just play very joyful football. I don't know. It's just something about them, you know. And that's something I want to be able to grab from every team, from every league. But so far, it's the French league ha that has a lot of my fulfillment in. It's like this is what I think football should look like most of the time. And so, and what an important equalizer that could be for them. And we got to see a lot of that through France. Through France, I think we got to see a lot of that through France, and, and I think that's something that that helped helped a lot. Helped me like a lot in the way to see football through, like to see how I see football. There's Lawrence here. Ashley Lawrence. Or Diani. Lawrence over to Baltimore. Baltimore. It just took a little bit too long there to make a mind at Baltimore, so allowed her Sandy Toletti to get a touch in there. And at times, Real Madrid have made Paris look quite predictable in terms of the longer ball over the top. The, since the goal, they've actually coped quite well with that. And we've talked about it being quite a risky tactic, but you know the defending has worked well. But I think Paris will just need those midfielders, whether it's Gayoro and Jean-Francois, to get forward and up and beyond the forwards. And it's very difficult to pick up those sort of midfielders. Good Let's just step in. Here's an opportunity for Paris to see. Diani gets it. Ooh, Diani, you were supposed to finish that. Ah! Oh. His shot is just lifted over, but what a brilliant bit of play from Pierre. Diani, you were supposed to finish that. Look at that back heel from Baltimore. Ah! Oh. Come on. That's what. That was it. That was it right there. Come on, Diani. Oh! Oh! I think that just shows the quality of Paris. Good feed, good Baltimore showing out today. Always susceptible to those sort of moves. Ah, unlucky for Paris. Madeleine. <laughs> There's Caroline here. She's going to get here, but she has two defenders. She's going to take an early shot. No, she steps away. Didn't get the pass right to Del Castillo to allow Koshawi with the clearance of PSG. Caroline Weir did well then. Pelu has actually played well so far in this first half. She's got the final pass wrong, and it's easy to then. The Frenchmen are in the World Cup final. What's the effort? Will the ladies be able to reach that? that? Oh, that was Toletti that took a strike. I'm not surprised. Uh, hit the post. Jean-Francois, the PSG midfielder. He'll step forward. For Baltimore. It certainly hasn't been comfortable for PSG this first half. No, it hasn't. They know that Real Madrid have that threat in the final third. Yes, they've not made a goal from it, but 
if they're given space, the likes of Gonzalez, the likes of Caroline Weir, can get themselves right on top of goal and just cause problems. And always makes Paris think about that being the home team. They like to get players forward, like to get the crowd going, but not being able to pull away from Madrid yet. Lawrence to Jean Francois. Hamraoui tried to uh, get the clearance in there, but it went straight to Del Castillo. Israel. Picked up again by Gonzalez. Robles wants it. Robles. Now to Letty. Casillo Galvez. Trying to find the right pass. She, uh, Grace was calling for that. Forward to Fresquioro, the PSG captain. Baltimore's out wide left. Tamrawi. Onto that right side to find Baltimore. On a face up. Baltimore trying to get past Olga Carmona. Gets it on her Baltimore right. Ooh, but too close to the goalkeeper. Straight into the hands of Misa Rodriguez. Misa. Yeah, Rodriguez, when she's been called upon in those sort of situations, has commanded an area well. Baltimore probably should have done a little bit better, but got into a really good space in that inside channel on that right hand side. Toletti. Toletti, she might take a shot. No, nope, but Caroline's across. wide open. Caroline oh my goodness. Turn. Inside the box. Who's marking her? Well, I'm surprised she missed it. I mean, well, she shot it right at the, the goalkeeper. What an opportunity for Real here. here. She's just wide open. Look at this again. Weir Who then. is marking Finding Caroline Weir? Lots of space. Everyone was like, I, don't, I think she was surprised. I don't know. She was just going for goal right away. But she had a lot of time to look. More than she thought, I believe. Um, but yeah. Oh, Four bad pass ago, here, but it doesn't hurt. Yes, G right there. But um, goodness. Real Madrid desperately searching for that equalizer. Goodness. Because as it stands, they will be going out at the group stages. PSG. Caroline had the first opportunity. This was her second. Yanni stays on side. She can get there. But Misa's out as well. We try to play forward and Rodriguez away. Yeah, it's better from Rodriguez. Obviously, leave a lot of space in behind with that high line. So it's really up to the goalkeeper, Rodriguez, to make that space up <laughs> really well then. Bachman. Bachman. <clears throat> See how much change we got. Well, no, none. Oof, what a but first half off, for both teams. Goodness. Opening 45 minutes here at the Parc de France. The fans have been <laughs> I've enjoyed that first half. Um. <laughs> wow. Good saves, good opportunities missed. Opportunities missed from both sides. Diami, Caroline, Toletti hit the post. Shit. Good, good chances from both sides. So I'm going to look at the uh, group stages real quick. Um, so it is. Yeah, I'm going to look at the group stages. Uh, just to see... Well, I guess we already know what happened. I already know what happened. Like, we know Paris play uh, Real. We know Paris play... Um... Oh, jeez. I didn't even get the words out of my mouth. Okay, Roma. Roma's winning. Well done. Wolfsburg and Slava. Paraha. Still nil nil. Oh, my goodness. That's crazy. I want to know what people are saying. Um, oh, look, hold on. They're showing us some, some 
of some uh, halftime. Real Madrid, I know it was real quick, but I'm not too sure what they'll show us here. I'm not going to see too much here. Um, let's see what people are saying. A lot, some of it. Oh wait, this is is this the Spanish stream? Yeah, that's the Spanish. I'm not too sure what if this stream's in English. I'm I'm guessing this is in English because I don't. I'm not even listening to any of the commentary, anyways. Oh wait, wrong one. That's not what I wanted to see. I don't even know why they got um. Um, it's not even the chat. Uh huh. So let's see how Real Madrid Madrid are doing in the um uh, in their league because we know that Madrid er, we know that PSG are now on top of their league due to the the win versus um Leon. So I just want to see uh how how they're doing in their. How they're doing in their league. So they're in second place. Um, Barca are leading with um, eight points clear. Um, let me see. I think, yeah, they only lost to, um, they lost to Chelsea 2-0. But they lost to Barcelona 4-0. And it looks like, okay, so Barcelona, I'm sorry. Real Madrid and Paris drew the first time they met. And I think um looks like Real Madrid's only loss maybe of the season. Let me see. Yeah, Real Madrid's only loss of the season is to Barca and they drew one match. So I'm trying to figure out why the points are so I guess that's only four points. So they're just one game in hand. So if they do face Barca again, I mean a draw or a win could be very important. And Levante is, is in after Barca are eight points clear, Levant, the Real Madrid, Levante, Madrid, CFF, Atletico Madrid, they're all separated by at least, um, they're only separated by five points, which isn't too bad. And I'm trying to think, we need to have three teams from the Spanish League, I feel, in the Champions League. Like I said, we need to, eventually we're going to have to have a bigger Champions League format. Um, that's that's just that's just in my opinion. I mean, I think I think that helps. Um, yeah, we don't want to see none of that stuff. Um, yeah, and uh, but let me see about the um, let me see how the Italian league is doing. The Italian league is fully professional. If you didn't know, damn, looks like uh, looks like Roma beat. It's like Roma got beat by Juventus. But um, Roma is my Italian team. Uh, yeah, so they lost to... Dang, they lost 4-2 to uh, Juventus. Ah, Berenstein. Julia Grusso, the Canadian. Okay. Oh, snap. So who's is Juventus? The Juventus is probably leading that group. Oh, it's Roma. Let's go, Roma. Roma are leading the Italian, the Italian, um, I think the Italian uh, league is the most, mm, one of, the, it's not the best, because they just became fully professional, but looks like they're pretty well balanced, Roma sitting on top with 30 points, Juventus sitting with 27, uh, Florentina 25, Inta with 22, those are the closest, you got Milan with 19, so not too bad, but they have 10 teams in their league. Um, let me see. Last year, I believe, yeah, Ju Juventus won. And Roma were second place runner-up. So, let's see, 2022? Yeah, Juventus again. Jeez. 2020? Juventus. 19. Yeah, so, look like uh, Roma winning the league. No, Roma didn't win the league last year, but they're sitting on top of the table. So they could let's see. When's the last time someone knew one? Oh my goodness. 
Okay. I'm trying to look at like prior champions. Wow, Florentina. So Juventus have won the league since 2017 to 2018. So one, two, three, four, five. So Juventus have been champions in Italy for five years running. And Roma right now, 14, 12 matches in, are leading the league. So let's check out the uh, the Italian, I mean the, uh, the, 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 the German league. The Bundesliga. The the friend Bundesliga. Let's see how they're doing. Who's winning? So with that being said, looks like Wolfsburg and Bayern are um, five games unbeaten. But Wolfsburg sitting up with ten games undefeated, thirty points. Bayern are following them with twenty five points. Frankfurt with twenty three. Frankburg with 19, Hoffenheim with 17, so it looks like Bayern, Wolfsburg, and Frankfurt. I know Frankfurt, Bayern, and Wolfsburg, I think they've all won Champions League. Last year, who won? Wolfsburg won last year, beat out Bayern, okay. And then Bayern won in the 2020-21 season, beat out Wolfsburg. So the champions are Wolfsburg, and Wolfsburg are winning again. Um, and they beat my team Roma, and uh, like I said, uh, not too bad, not too bad, not too bad. Uh, it's good to see the looks like um, there's 12 teams in um, the German League, it'll be nice to see three teams in the Champions League. And I really don't follow the Swedish league or any of the other leagues based upon, um, yeah, I don't really follow any of the other leagues, uh, too much, but, you know, it's good that we have Atta and all these other, um, I have to catch up with them. Probably, I probably will be able to start watching them a little bit more after the, um, the break. Because I know we're going to have international matches. Maybe. I don't know if we're going to have. It's just like they're going to have a break. All the way. Oh, yeah. The, the French. The German League isn't going to come back till February. I think the French League is not coming back till. Um, the French League isn't going to come back till. Well, January 8th, but kind of in January. Okay. English League isn't coming back till January. So right now, the, in the English League, of course, Chelsea are sitting up top with 27 points. Arsenal right behind them with 24. United right behind them with 22. And City with 19. Only three teams get Champions League. Last year, Chelsea won. The prior year, Chelsea won. Chelsea. Twenty twenty nine. Yeah, that was... Even though Chelsea had... I mean, even though City had more points than Chelsea, that last match was postponed... And Chelsea was giving the title for some reason, which was kind of fucked up. But, you know. It's like they didn't even have the most points. But that's the past. But Chelsea have been champions since uh, the 2020, 2019 till 2020. Which, it were, they shouldn't have been champions. But anyways, Arsenal won the last champion. They won, were the last champions in 2018. So Chelsea have been the champions since four, almost three years in a row. So they can't win it this year. Um, I don't want them to win it. So what we got going on? Nothing, nothing yet. We're still waiting. Uh, hopefully I don't have nothing. No, I don't. Looks like Bunny. Bunny and Rachel Daly have eight goals. Fran Kerr. Okay, Bunny, I see you. 
Damn, right to those nine assists. I need to look at some of these uh statistics. Let's see. Um, let's see how many score, how many goals are I know Barcelona did score a lot of goals. He got F. Their league got F now. Oh wow! Got uh, Alba Rendino has eleven goals for Levante. Richo has nine goals. Ludo Lima has eight. Talgary has seven. Esther has seven. Well done. Let's see, it's the what time is it? It's about to be three. So the ladies' baby coming back out. Ah uh, no, these are some half times. These are some opportunities for both teams. Oof. This was a great goal. Let me pour me some tea real quick. Wow. So it can get kind of... Ooh, this is the Golesso. Golesso. From Diablo. From uh, the, the Almdia. Okay, so the ladies are still not out just yet. Looks like they're coming out though. Let's go. Perfect timing. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> All right. Um, let me just share this one. Uh, okay. Mm. Ladies are still in. Ah, uh, come. Hmm. Okay, it looks like the ladies are coming back out on the field. Good to see them. Madrid, but just the one change since they went over Atletico Madrid. Freya Olofsson. Mm-hmm. just share this on a... Claudia Zanossa. And it will be Real Madrid, the visitors, who will uh, get us back underway in the second half of this crucial Champions League group stage match. A win for PSG. And they will go through to the quarterfinals. Mm. So Real Madrid must respond in this second half if they want any hopes of continuing in, in this Champions League journey. And the referee Lina Letovara blows a whistle, and it's Real Madrid who get us back underway right. in the second half of this game. What do you want to see more from both sides in this second half, Lucy? Well, I think Real Madrid have to take more risks at some point in this second half. I think that Paris can be quite patient the way that they play. They don't have to leave gaps and, and go for it, although they ideally would like a second goal. But the onus is definitely on Real Madrid now that they're one goal behind to get themselves back in the game. Tolati loses out. Lawrence. 
Kiora with a little bit of skill to get away from Olofsson and then the challenge coming in from Sani Tiletti. And will be shown a yellow card. That's a great piece of skill. Kiora lost a couple of players before she was sized down by Tiletti. That's just frustration. That's how easy it was for Kiora. Yellow card for Tiletti. Her defence. Ankle, wasn't it? All right, all right, all right. <laughs> okay, part what the of this Paris team here, they will not want to see her going off injured, keep some ticking in central midfield. <coughs> okay. Um, well, she's back up on her feet, Grace Gioro. She was hobbling though. Seems to be okay. All right, second half. Let's go, ladies. Paris up 1 0 from the header from the corner. Um, see how the second half concludes here in Parc de France, Parc de Prince in France. Interestingly enough, Paris Saint Germain were the uh, top scoring team Real in Madrid. this group stage. They got 24 goals. They didn't concede a single Something goal a little in better. Paris want to build on that them. goal. In their first two Group A games this campaign, which is when they lost 1-0 to Chelsea back on match day one. They also, of course, had that goal of straw against Real Madrid in the reverse <laughs> fixture. A slightly tougher test this time around than they faced Oof. last year. Fella with the ball in Good. for Real Madrid. Oh, right behind Caroline. Is she? Oh, right behind Caroline. Is she? The shots oh. the opportunities there for Del Castillo. It's the post from a Real Madrid Ina. are denied by the woodwork. What a waste. Unlucky. What a waste of an opportunity. Contrived between three or four players. It's Caroline's the ball to Caroline was just past her from That's Esther. Been, that was good to hold up play from <sighs> Gonzalez. And one of them needed to look like Antina, she just got weird, too much underneath that. Right foot. <sighs> really well. well Caroline Weir could have taken that first time. It just gave Paris. Wow, so close. To not so close. Lawrence. Hamraoui. Here's Grace, she has a whole Baltimore. other side. Uh, Baltimore here though. Baltimore. Gets it, Backman's running, she feeds it Backman's to her. The run Couple more players, she gets it on the cross. Ooh, Ooh. 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 Grace! Jean-Francois was there too. Well, I say Grace, but that was Diani and, and Jean Francis in the mix. The Robles, she clears it. This second half, did I turn on the audio? I think I did. Yeah, I did, okay. Likes of Backman, who's enjoying a real run in the side and scoring goals. Corner for Harris. Baltimore will take this corner for PSG. Yeah, Baltimore takes this. Forward and away by Teletti and Fella made sure. All the way back to Baltimore. She has some players for a post. Ooh, Baltimore but it's blocked. Again, but blocked by Olofsson. And now Del Castillo will try and drive forward. Koshawi will get there. Amraoui. Good pass from Torina to Bachman, but Misa was out to see that too. Good run. To get out of her area and clear that ball away. Wit. Gonzalez back to Olga Carmona. Galvez. Unless he couldn't hold on to it, Hamraoui was coming in. This is Diani now. Diani still travels, has Baltimore. She still Diani. travels, has Grace. Was Grace on side? Looks like it. 
He has Baltimore four post, four post. Still Baltimore, she takes it first time for the volley. Didn't quite get the connection she was looking for. Nowhere near the goal. Opportunities to punish Real Madrid when they regain but, possession um, on the Paris counter. Paris looking good. They really made the most of it. I think they need more runners from deep. The back four of Real Madrid are quite comfortable. The goalkeeper's got a good starting position that's quite high. So those balls over the top are not really working. So runs from deep or dribbles from deep will cause problems. Well, Real Madrid finished third in their uh, domestic season last year. So they had to go through two rounds of qualifying to even get into the group stages they beat uh, stone grass and of course manchester city which we told you about earlier on in this game caroline witt scoring the goal to take her former club out of the qualifying PSG round. here baltimore holding baltimore. up a little bit for some more players see she went one two with diani looking like it oh the high boot bit of a high leg there like from a cut. Baltimore. someone so, uh, high high knee Make it a yellow for this Baltimore. Real Madrid, Just a talking to. Desperately trying to get the goal, but Paris is such a threat that they will just keep going. More expectation than anything that they'll get that second goal. How important is it for Real Madrid to keep their composure, knowing that they have to score? I think the most important thing, keeping the composure, but also not conceding. The second goal, I, I think that will probably be it because they found it hard to even score one. But I think they know that any sort of chance, while ever it's 1 0, there's always a chance that they can get themselves back in the game. And one goal is all they need if they can keep a clean sheet for the rest of this second half and not concede again. She has the only as option, but she turns. That was the only option at the moment. The ball was searching for Diani, but it was stopped in its tracks by Teleti. Mr. Olofsson. Gonzalez. Fella, back to Gonzalez, and now we're. Picked up by Naomi Fella. Can't get away from uh, Ashley Lawrence, though. Zamarawi. Paris get through that space, pretty well. But, but give it away here. Diani could get on the end of it was well collected by Galvez. They played some really good football, Real Madrid, going forward. But at the moment, the only time they got behind was the. And don't forget, you can play as um, Paris in the latest installment of FIFA. For PSG if they can see FIFA 23. Players Paris Saint Germain. Diani and Baltimore and Backman and she's looking for support. Oh, you're some of your Anthony favorite French Cross ballers, Shally. Marie. Shally, just back. The passes backwards. Let's see what she's so, trying to do there. One. Del Castillo. Looking for the delivery away by Hamrawi. Now into the hands of Buwadi. There's a whistle in the crowd, which is actually very distracting. I will suspect for the players it is if they can hear it as, as clear as, as we can. I'm just going to keep playing. Yeah, we of course do have the uh, crowd effects in right into our headphones, so we might be able to hear it a little bit more. But every time I hear it, it does make you just check the uh, referee, Lina Letovara, just to see if it's her or if it's someone in the crowd. Kathleen. Have you ever had that mistaken? The referee's whistle for something that's happened in the crowd? I haven't, but I've seen it and commented on games where that's happened but as a player I think you've just got to keep playing until you know, the referee will certainly blow the whistle again and again and again if, if hard and you're ignoring them 
Valentina, she, she needs to get stopped. They don't, they do not let her dribble all the way through. Jean-Francoise. French international plays it for out, but Eris here with Baltimore. She takes the shot. Ooh, that hits the post. Well, did Misa get some of that? From Misa Rodriguez, who had to uh, backtrack quite quickly. Good opportunity from Baltimore. From she was on target. From Baltimore, she nearly Oof. got that absolutely spot on. We've, obviously, we've seen the way that Rodriguez is playing. She's right on the edge of her position as a goalkeeper because of the high line. And that's what they're going to probably start doing once, if, if she's coming out to help. Uh, and they turned the ball over quickly, that is why as well. That's why Baltimore had opportunity to take a shot. But um, uh, that is something Paris can be able to do now. Once... Uh, Backman driving down that left hand side, going up against Robles. Diani. Instead. There's Lawrence Rashi here, Lawrence. she has Grace. Back to Lawrence. Nice Stays on. Ooh, PSG, it's a penalty. She didn't. She wasn't gonna. She even though uh, Ashley Lawrence didn't touch the ball again, uh, we saw she, sh she should. <laughs> but uh, it was a good play. We saw what Grace was doing. She's she's setting Lawrence up. But Olga went for the tackle, and she didn't. She didn't really have to go for the ball after that. She missed the ball, and she's saying, she's saying she didn't pull. She didn't follow through, but she didn't get the ball either. So I'm thinking this is why um, Olga didn't get the ball. You know. The ball was nowhere near, and all the hard work that Real Madrid have put into this game. Diani says she's going to take this one. To make sure that they were 100% defensively correct, and not quite happened. So difficult as well coming in here and defending well, and trying to score. We'll see how this. Well. Uh, well, this might just see how this concludes. Please. Diani missed some Gianni chances. Gianni. Well, she missed that really yeah, nice please. one. Baltimore center. Oh, oh. Season. Esther, that's I'm talking to. And there is a little bit of back and forth between a couple of the players. And the referee, Lina Letovara, just has to sort this out. Esther and Backman, both number 10s. <laughs> that's hilarious. But, um... And all this time, whoever's taken the penalty has got Both, to uh, you know, this. you know, trying yeah. to... Stall. They're not happy with the call, and you know, I can understand it. But Olga, in a way, she missed the ball. She went down for the tackle, and in a way, Ashley Lawrence, she she in their last Champions League match. Can she do it from the spot again? Diani. Well, a lot of distractions for Diani. Did it get under her veins, or does she have? Let's see. I think she'll go. What that would mean to them. Mm, she pushed it left, so maybe left. Steps up. Ooh, she goes right, and it's two nil. Very. And PSG have a second. Well done, Diani. Well done. Diani. She's had some big games. The these two big games. Spot. She scored against Lyon. Yeah, Here she is scoring well. against that Paris. Means... I'm not saying it seals Paris's fate, but in progressing. And she kept a cool the she had a lot um, of time to think about that. You know, and the goalkeeper basically made her mind up for her. I think that she went early. It doesn't help Raoul at all. Right. <laughs> Nicely taken. That's a great penalty. The goalkeeper goes one way, put it the other, and that's the chance that Paris needed just to get themselves two goals. Well done. Front. Well done. Yeah, I like it. Look back on this game if they don't Paris, we're playing really well. Here's Jackie. She's coming in for Bachman. Various points in it where they just weren't quite good enough, both defensively and in front of goal. 
Well, Paris Saint Germain now surely have got one game. foot in the quarterfinals. There's a change for PSG. Ramona Bachman is uh, replaced by Jackie Funen. But that was a potentially monumental goal for PSG to get that second, just to calm the nerves a little bit, get it a little bit more comfortable because Real Madrid before that looked like they could have a chance of getting an equaliser. Yeah, it, w it wasn't comfortable. It hasn't been comfortable all the way through the game. We'll see how this... Um, one up, and they knew that if they could just get that second goal, then... Oh, how Real Madrid they, react and respond. Like I said, Real are still a young team. they got a lot of young Spanish talent here. Struggling at the moment to score one against Paris. Well, they'll have to come up with two in this next half hour or so. Misa Rodriguez coming all the way out. Uh, part of an outfield oh, oh, player, oh, oh, actually. Oh. What's going on here, Diani? Don't don't do anything crazy. To miss a match. Now, Rodriguez and this Real Madrid team, they know that that opportunity at the start of the second half, it should have been one all. And she's given the yellow. A different game, but they're the small margins that you've got. All right, Diani, calm down. At this level, <laughs> coming away, she's got that Aries energy. I'm not sure what Misa is, but um, no need, no need for that. Just give. You're up 2 0. Let's go. Might get a little bit more tempered for both teams. Let's see, here's Ashley. Oof, nicely done. But I'm, uh, number 20 is. Um, 20, 20, yeah, number 20. Real Madrid have not got it, and if you can just get her beyond that back four, then she will cause problems. So I'm trying to remember. Oh yeah. So Jackie came off. I mean Jackie came in. Uh. For Bachman. She plays more of a midfield, but they have PSG have her playing in the in the wing. So let's see how she does. And she's the first one off instead of Martins. It was very interesting as well. Jean-Francoise. Looking to play that ball into space. Couldn't quite find the player she was looking for. Interesting enough, Jackie Cunin is actually... Real Madrid are going to want the tempo to, to push a little more quicker. Now that they really need a goal back. Is a good player and when she's allowed to drift, and that's exactly what Bachman was doing in the first half and during the time, so that fits in perfectly. Diani looking for Hunan. Jackie still has it here. Giving it to Baltimore. Baltimore hit the post, I think, twice. Set up Diani. Uh, she's had a great game. Paris, a bit more confident. They know that these Real Madrid players will look at and think this is a, a steep hill to climb. They may make changes just to put more legs on the pitch. Real Madrid, they're given everything. At times playing at full tilt and still find themselves two goals behind. Well, it certainly isn't a scenario Real Madrid would have wanted to be in with uh, 65 minutes on the clock. A change for Real Madrid. Teresa Paletti comes on in place He's of coming out. Coletti, who is at oh, the uh, Tel Telesa. I'm actually really surprised that Abiera didn't start. Two more again. subs. For Real. Player in that midfield area for the way that they progress the ball up the pitch. Well, a couple more changes. We'll see. All of a sudden. Claudia Zonosa. Or Claudia. And a lot of these Real Madrid players, as uh, I seen with Spain, after the other 14 got, uh, after a lot of the ladies that didn't want to play didn't get picked up, right? So, uh, some of these names I do recognize a little bit. Interestingly, actually, they've taken off their main striker. 
when they really desperately need goals. Yeah, he, he does have to mix it up a bit, though, that they're in dire straits in terms of staying in this competition, so they have to do something. Has to make Biani, Baltimore, see if she gives it back to. For Paris. It just means that Fella's gone. Fella's gone more central by the look of it. Carmona to weave away past Ashley Lawrence who you have to say has had a really good game for PSG so far tonight she's not really been allowed allowing Real Madrid to come down that side that she's been holding strong yeah, she does really well defensively but also she gets right up there in attack when Paris do have the ball and invaluable those sort of full backs and that obviously is the way that Paris like to play and she fits into that mold really well, supporting attacks, but also she's really keen not to let anything come down her side. Carmona moving away infield, looking for Fella. Koshawi. Gioro. Goodbye, Conan. Lawrence. Sophie Svavo, who's gone into her uh, usual left back position, mm -hmm. which has allowed Olga Carmona to move forward. Yeah, she's gotten the ball a couple of times as well. Carmona, which. In those forward positions, advanced positions. Nice and quick. All right, Grace here. Ooh. Giorgio down. Good little. Free kick she just came on the field. Twenty-one. The player, yeah, Claudia. The turns from Grace. The Paris friends are enjoying the themselves. Goal, which has made the crowd very happy. Incredible support from the PSG fans. The Baltimore. Baltimore here on the right. Baltimore He's looking for. Oh, she's looking for Jackie. Uh, the, uh, Conan, who was making her way in. They get themselves clears in. that. Well posted well there. Just skimmed off her head. Just enough to just take it away. And redirect it for a corner. And then they could defend that. So don't let the ball in. With the corner, the punch me, sir. By Rodriguez. El Castillo will try and get on the end of it. All right, another opportunity. The better of it, though. Paris up against Robles. Oof, Jackie's open. Nice you gotta this from PSG. Get that touch. But away by Caroline Caroline gets a paw onto it. And he knows that the fun in his team would have taken one of the chances that they've had. Before the score changed to 2 0. So frustrated for him. Conan again with the delivery. Diani. Looking for the head of Diani. Corner? I mean, goal? Goal kick looks like it? Or. Uh, I'm kick. trying to see. Yeah, not quite as fluid now they've made the changes. Yeah, Real Madrid, uh, but goal have kick. To do something in terms of fresh legs onto mm. the pitch. Just adding something extra. Just trying to mix it up a bit to try and get at least. If they can get a goal back, make the last. Part of the game interesting. <laughs> They're still holding on to the possession, Paris Saint Germain, but Real Madrid know that this is going to be a desperate 20 minutes or so for them. 
on the part of de France because they need two goals if they want any chance of continuing their journey in the Champions League. And they got themselves through to the quarterfinals last season in their first ever season competing in the Champions League, which in itself was incredible. It's been a, a difficult group, though, you have to say, with Chelsea in it as well, for them to achieve the same. And I think they've given a good account of themselves in a lot of Nice from games, Jackie here. Well done. When on There's top. Grace. Space opening up in Baltimore and Diani up with her. Baltimore. Just those three. D Baltimore are going to face up on the it's sub. She's going to try to curl it. Needed more pace. Needed a little more A little bit more width. Deception, base. Well, PSG are on a quite a good run of form at the moment. They've won right. the six games in a row. Yanni here. here She'll go for goal herself. Yeah, yeah, she should. For that space and the Ooh, chance. too close to Misa. Come on, Diani. Another strong hit, but right it got the back of the net. Come on. Goalkeeper. Yeah, I think they're just showing a bit of their experience now. Paris getting themselves forward when they can. Just making sure they keep it tight at the back and not giving any encouragement really to Real Madrid. She set herself up so well for that. She deserved to go another one. Fellow will try and go up against Almeida. Cross comes in. A little bit too far away, though, from Fella. And that's what it's been like for Real Madrid. Just passes not quite making it. Shots hitting the post. It's just not quite worked out. Baltimore is tonight. just so good at timing these passes nicely. Oh, my goodness. Dioro. Forward to Baltimore. Let's see what happens. Diani's available. Still Baltimore. She leaves it for Jean France. She will take a shot. No. Nah. Francoise, course back to Ashley Lawrence. PSG versus Chelsea next week should be phenomenal if Paris are playing the way they're playing these last these last matches. It'll be a really good game. Diani. Right. Dioro. Gianni took a little bit of a touch to try and get it. Gianni wants it more. Gianni holds on to this. But the cross in the box wasn't good enough. Matched Gianni. Pace for pace. Yes, she can get another goal if they just calm down. Hamrawi. Be a little bit more clinical. But, um, definitely has settled the nerves among PSG, hasn't it? They got Real Madrid so running around right now. On the ball. Yeah, I think since since the goal and probably since since Real Madrid had that chance at the start of the second half, I think they've been pretty much in control of the pressures in this game. And now they're just seeing it out in the way that they know most, and that's attacking and trying to get that third goal. Or shall we through to Baltimore? The ball from Oh my goodness, that was a lovely f the ball. She, Seneca, she jumped it over the Real Madrid player. And then Baltimore almost found Jackie. Well, she did, but. PhD. Having fun? They're making me have fun out here commentating. They're making me enjoy them play. Got a little, got a little swagger to them. The route can't get the ball back from them. Here's Jean Francis. Let's PSG. see if she's able to pass. She wants to hold the ball. And Grace, they all want to hold the ball a little bit. And Ashley Lawrence here. Lawrence. She can whip it in. Let's see. I 
to Hamrawi. All right. Should cross it. Ooh. Baltimore, she got to get opportunity. Oh, she passes to Jackie. Oh, but Jackie doesn't want to shoot with her, le her left. She should have shot it with her left. She didn't want to shoot with her left. All right, Jean Francis is going to get this one. All pairs. All pairs here. Two players in the box, though. Baltimore looking like she's going to set up a volley. Ah. Advantage, Rao. Here's Caroline. Finally, Rao, get the ball a little bit. Not, not for long. Next week is, of course, the conclusion of the group stages. It's a big clash for Paris Saint-Germain, who face Chelsea. That will be a game uh, to determine who will get the top spot in Group A. That at Stamford Bridge, the first time a UEFA Women's Champions League game has been uh, taken place at Stamford Bridge, actually. So PSG, the visitors there next Thursday, December the 22nd. And of course, watch every Champions League game on the zone. All right, there goes uh, Lawrence. Baltimore available as well. He gets a tour. Baltimore. She gonna go for goal? Ooh, she feeds Diani. Diani. Ooh, it's, oh, what a save from Misa. What a save. Really good passing from Paris. Just good to see. I don't even know. What else do you say? Baltimore's been threading it through. Just. Oh. Gosh. Baltimore, what a match. She's had a great match. I don't know what to tell y'all. I thought she was going to set herself up. I thought she was going to set herself up a goal, but. She was looking for the pass, and Diani was available. Good save for Misa, though. Keeping it 2-0. No, by that point and it just offers a little bit of imbalance to the way that they're playing the way that they're defending as we saw a lot from france jumping inside those right lanes now well, castillo's claiming she was held back there by karshawi got a substitution More Real Madrid players. Another change for Real Madrid, my dear Olga is coming off. <clears throat> now she had the the one that kind of put Real Madrid out of it, the tackle. That awarded the penalty. the final 10 minutes of this game PSG as it stands well and truly in control on their way to another quarter final yeah they'll be pleased with the way that they've reacted the goals that they've scored and the way they've just kept managed to keep Real Madrid at arm's length and that's a lot of experience coming to the fore as a collective in this competition Hey, Grace is going for it. Diani is available. But Diani tried to pass it right away. She got to be careful too. She's already on the yellow. Picked up here by Fella. Ooh, it's a goal! 
Real Madrid get one back. And it's a substitute who gets Real Madrid right back into this game. They still got ten minutes to play. Zoran? Zoran? That That's a great goal. Really well worked down the left hand side. Torres and Zanosa. So St. Paris was um combinations down the left hand side. The midfielders. It'll standout performer and that's about the tracking back easy goal she's a, she's wide open not much back lift i'm not sure I took the, the substitutions for Pe for real madrid fantastic helping finishing. game on last 10 minutes it looked like they thought themselves that they wouldn't be able to get back into this game and now that just changes it Eller, so number 20 she had a good game she played real hard Nagari garcia is on for naomi feller and we certainly are on for an interesting end to this game. Real Madrid getting themselves back into the game thanks to the substitute. Claudio Zornosa, her first goal in the Champions League this season. Now Madrid, you know, they still need a win because they're game on now. they only have five points. You know, the spirits of the Real Madrid players because it seemed like they were down and out. That's the way that they were playing yeah, in the last ten minutes. Absolutely, they didn't really have any chances whatsoever. His team were comfortable in the way they, they, they were playing, and now a little bit of encouragement. But a goal makes it interesting. Terrific finish, and they've just got to go for it now. It doesn't matter whether they lose 2-1, 3-1, they've got to go for that second goal. And here they come with Caroline Weir, plays it across to the left, to Oroz. Has to be good, this cross. Del Castillo on the turn. Dina. And You're latching on to this. Hands to her she head. wants one. Oh, she tried to blast it. She didn't need to blast it at that point. Again, great play. And it falls really well for her, but she just tried to completely put her foot through the ball. And she probably didn't need to. I mean, she did terrifically. It took well to spin around. But they have really got the bit between the teeth now, Real Madrid, that they can get that second goal. Well, Alberto Teruel, the Real Madrid manager, did say it, that they'd have to be patient because they know how well they can finish games. Well, we've certainly started to see it now from Real Madrid. That goal from Claudia Zornosa, lifting the spirits of the Real Madrid players. If they can get an equaliser here, then match day six will be the decider. As it stands though, Paris Saint-Germain will have that next qualification spot. Jean-Francois. And that's I think Paris getting themselves into trouble. Weir tries to go forward. Just an extra intensity to everything that Real Madrid are doing. It. We talk about goals changing games, and there's another one that's changed the course of this game and the way that it's set out on how it looks and who has momentum. Well, Hamraoui is uh, stayed down for PSG. She looks like she got her foot. She got stepped on. That's a great tackle by Amrawi. And she went for that challenge against the airline. Here comes Koshawi. The Ani calling for it. Good pass out there to her. She gets there. But falls. Yeah, referees had a, a really good game, letting the game flow. She's not really giving any soft fouls at all, both teams. <laughs> Gotta tie the shoes. And put the gloves back on. Well, there is the goal scorer for Real Madrid. <laughs> Oh man, my hands. Oh, that, that pop. Mm, let's see. Sure that the gloves are back on before she takes this throw in. Not the greatest clearance there from Madeleine Salza. Let's try to take the sting out of the game now. Paris, keep the ball up. At this end of the pitch. Madrid really building up ahead of steam straight after that one goal back. Del Castillo's won it back. 
Plays it forward. Oh, Maida had it covered. Giora. All about game management now for PSG. Going on here. Where? Getting free. Taking up some space. Athena's calling for it, but you know, Caroline, other, other option. But she does eventually give it to her. But she gives it to the... And she played it right into the feet of Karshawi. Well, she's played well tonight, but that just plays into the hands of Paris. Can eat away the seconds towards the end of this game. Great play previous to that by Caroline Weir. Great turn from Rowie. Struggling to keep up with her, and she's been the catalyst of a lot of what Real Madrid have done tonight and this season so far. Looks like the her knee hit her knee, or like the Arte Prince enjoying this match, having some late, some late night drama, a little bit with Real Madrid getting a goal back. capable of creating the chances Real Madrid we've seen that especially in the first half but they haven't got long left time is running out Buadi sends it forward Baltimore and crowded out by the two Real Madrid players He doesn't look it, but there certainly will be some nerves for uh, the PSG manager, Gerard Prescher. Absolutely. When they scored the second, I think he probably thought that it would be quite comfortable seeing out the rest of the game. His team had other ideas. Diane. Jean-Francois. Lawrence. Gioro. Diani back to Gioro. Making row. Slava can't quite get it away. Diani is still getting Diani with the strength. He has Grace available. For PSG. Grace Gioro goes for it. Lifted in. Cross. Era. To the feet of Caroline Witt. Caroline gets triple teamed. By those PSG shirts. Picked up again by Abayera. Just behind Del Castillo. And Karshawi can do her best to get it away. Well, they're enjoying it. Have to do anything final to final couple minutes. <laughs> Oh, this match, a good match. I think Rao, the substitutes have come on strong for Rao. Um, PSG did have some good opportunities, uh, you know, in the first half to, you know, to boost their opportunities. Well, a nudge the back there, of course, Another foul here. And the captain, Candy Robles. And that just helps Paris just again waste a little bit more time. Real Madrid just frustrated that they haven't. Good match, good match. I've, 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 had, I've enjoyed watching this game today. Six minutes. Six minutes. A lot of Over time. Additional time, which will be. Good news for Real Madrid, not so good news for Paris Saint Germain. They have another six minutes where they have to hold it's on a lot to the time. Lead. Not sure where they got the six minutes from. I suppose they've had two goals. Donosa. Badia here, the goal scorer for Real. 
All right, here's Paris with Jackie. Grace is available, but that pass, she kind of let it run through. But here's Diani. She has Baltimore. And I hold it. I don't know. Ah, she didn't see. Del Castillo. You must have covered some distance for Real Madrid tonight. You know, she wants something. You get a penalty, something. She doesn't have any cards, so. She's not going to get a foul from that challenge from this referee. Caroline here fighting for it gets Jackie, but Jackie gets there. Look, they still got a player down. Morel. Ooh. Ooh, the trips. In the penalty area, a little shove from Hamrawi. Well, the Real Madrid referee was there. A lot of bodies on the ground right now. Del Castillo needs some treatment. It's more time. A lot happening in that phase of play. She needs assistance. Was in a good position for the penalty shout, but usually when a defender goes down as well, a lot of the time we may have just made some sort of foul. Mm, that's, that's Not a shirt pulling from old girl. There, but she's up. She's on her feet. The talking point has to be the incident in the middle where Real Madrid were convinced that that should have been a, a penalty on Garcia. <laughs> I'm not too sure what's going on right now. Is it a goal kick? Is she's well, she looks to be she's in, in pain right there. now. Looks like Del it. Castillo, you can see it on her face. Garcia. Oh, Diani's down too. In the back. Forward to looking for Svava. There will be a throw into Real Madrid. Del Castillo is back on the pitch. Who's down now? Yeah, Diani. Diani has a yellow, so make sure. No time down. wasting. Obviously, from a Paris point of view, it eats up more minutes, more seconds, but it just stops the flow of Real Madrid. Obviously, it's the intention. Martin's going to come in. Luka Martins. Who is getting ready? She won't have long in this game. And what a player to come on! I'm curious. In the last two minutes, yeah, I think it shows a quality. She knew. What Paris have got on the pitch when Martins. Some big matches. She's come off the bench, Martins, with a few minutes. Just you know, interesting. I think they've played well. I mean, I haven't really got to see her play with the ladies as much. But um, well, hopefully uh, Diani's okay. We'll have to hope that's nothing too serious. Just a little stinger. I don't want her to miss anything. But um, yeah, very curious. Martin's a big signing, influential player for Real. I mean for Barca. Awkwardly from the challenge, she's a key player for Paris. have a lot more time left i have no idea i play till freaking 10 minutes of stoppage time and martins is down now is only another player down it looks game. like it Nicolas oh yeah yeah so many I'm gonna have hella stoppage times martins just came on and she already got hit let's see her right here so keen to win the ball Oh yeah, she's uh she gets like you know, 
a, a good shove from the back. They're both going for the ball, but she got the brunt of it and probably fell on her face. A lot of time here. Well, energies are rising. You can see it took her out of her a little bit there. Referee may end it short just because of all this drama. We'll see though. I think that literally was her first involvement. Obligated six yeah. minutes, but we've had the six and we've had a lot of crazy stuff happen. Let's see. Real Madrid forward. Ball straight into the hands of Buadi from Abayera. Well, we've played the six minutes they've been added on, but the majority of that was. And the ball hasn't been in play due to a couple of injuries. Last couple of moments for Real Madrid to try and find a crucial equalizer, an equalizer that could potentially continue their Champions League journey on into next week's no, Red, final you know, group stage space here. Abiera. Needs to go forward. I mean, Real Madrid, I, I mean, I mean, I think, um... Catlin. And that was wasted, really. Air sitting back Madrid. a little bit yeah, too much for me. Really wanted. There's a centre-back shooting from that position. And they had chances to get it forward prior to that in that attack. a little bit too much because anyway you know yeah caroline we're out there you know she can score bangers from long range <laughs> away by Koshawi. anything will do for her Svava with the throw and martins is able to try and carry that away kept in by oros Gioro. More in the corner. Baltimore. I'll take this all the way to the corner. At about. I'd say she might live them to like the like ten minutes. That's what I'm saying. I think this will be the last minute. Well, Real Madrid watching the time slip away from them. PSG doing everything they can to try and hold on to this lead. A lead which will send them through to the quarterfinals. Into the dying moments now. We've almost played four extra minutes on top of the six. Morale looking for anything. Ball in. Oh, bless the captain was trying to get on the end of it. And Karshawi can hold on to it for PSG. That's a really risky challenge on the edge of the box. Though. Oh, now she's down her feet. Ooh. That's it. I thought the ref was going to put her whistle in her pocket. Yeah, I think that's it now. And yep. That will be that. Oh my goodness. What a match. A huge win for Paris Saint-Germain. A win that sends them through to the quarterfinals. <laughs> well done. Ah, uh, Paris end up winning 2-1. And, um, you know, hurting Madrid.
get seeking revenge I for my citizens. Diani ended up scoring the the game winning match, the game winning goal with the penalty, and it looks like they're advancing to the second round, which is good. In the group of death, in my opinion. Um, yeah, I think Real Madrid fought real hard. It's going to be tough for them to get out this group. I'm not too sure how many points they need to be if they are, or if it's just the first two uh, in the group stage. Um, you know, it is what it is. I think Real Madrid, um, they got a lot of young players. Um, and, and, you know, I think eventually they'll get there. Um, but yeah, that's it. I want to thank everyone for tuning in to Anita's Joint. Hashtag is in the joint where every day is payday, baby. It's your girl Anita flying high. Flying out of this third dimensional reality. I'll see you on the next one. <laughs> Deuces.